Ladies and gentlemen, I do hope this day is going to be, uh, is going to be uh, a useful day for you. I understand this is the first time I've been to this event, but I understand it's an event that has uh, been historically successful. And that's because I think it gives an opportunity for you to be together with each other and for us to be together with you and to figure out how we can work with each other to make sure that what Michael said uh, is as big a reality uh, as, as it needs to be. Uh, namely, that you are um, able to completely fulfill the role that you play as the sort of engine of Toronto's economy. Uh, small, business are, uh, are, are, small businesses are important creators of jobs. They're incredibly important animators of neighbourhoods. I mean, if you look at one of the reasons why our neighbourhoods are healthy, which is why our city is healthy today relative to many other cities, it is because of the activities and the presence of small businesses which are uh, succeeding. Uh, it's an incredibly important cradle for innovation. I mean, again, all these dots come together in small and medium enterprises. And when we talk about Toronto as being a place where we're increasingly wanting to be seen uh, as the home for innovation uh, in all of Canada and indeed across North America, small businesses, startup businesses, uh, to use the phrase often used, what are startup businesses? They're small uh, businesses that hopefully grow into medium and then to large businesses. And of course, um, small businesses are hugely important parts of the supply chain, if I can call it that, whether the supply chain is in making things or in providing uh, services to people. And every big business, I mean, and I'm not telling you something you don't know, started out as a small business. I'll tell you my own story for the company that I work for most notably for uh, nine years when it was a huge business, and that's Rogers. But a lot of people don't know that I had the chance to work there um, when I was 17 years old. Um, and what Rogers consisted of at that time, and 17 years old for me was a long time ago, it was in 1972, uh, was uh, a, it, it, the head, head office and the only office of the whole place was in a uh, space above a restaurant on Adelaide Street. And the company consisted at the time of two uh, radio stations, one in the booming metropolis of Sarnia, no offense intended, uh, and the other here. And it consisted of, I think at the time, 10,000 cable TV subscribers. The company was just starting out in the cable business. There was no wireless company. And today, of course, it's a, 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 a company that has, uh, I think, $15 billion in annual revenues, a market capitalization of $25 billion. It's huge. Uh, to tell you, though, what kind of a small business it was, the premises on the second floor of that building on Adelaide Street, um, when somebody used the sink in the washroom, uh, it caused a leak in the Greasy Spoon restaurant downstairs. And when they were cooking a hamburger in the Greasy Spoon restaurant, the smell came up into the head office of the booming Rogers Empire. And Mr. Rogers, and this is a true story that he told many a time, and I know it's true because I knew it happened, he used to take all the bills uh, on every second Friday and put them in a hat, and he would draw the bills out of the hat until he ran out of money to pay them. And if anybody complained that they weren't, uh, that they weren't paid in a given week, he'd say, well, next week I won't even put you in the hat if you don't stop complaining. And so, you know, every company starts in that way with entrepreneurship, and what do they need? They need, from the standpoint of the government, I think three things from us. The first is something that I know Councillor Thompson and I are very committed to, which is trying, notwithstanding all the demands that we have to make sure we have a city that works for you and for everybody else to keep taxes as low as we can. The second thing uh, that's needed is for us to stay out of the way. And that's why we're embarked on something that you probably haven't heard of yet, but I hope you will hear of not only the first emanation of it, but many to follow, which is um, the initiative we're undertaking with the Government of Ontario. So if you start a restaurant in Toronto right now, between the Government of Ontario and the City of Toronto, you have to apply for 19 different permissions of one kind or another. And what we're doing is putting those together into one application form that electronically filed that deals with all, hopefully less than 19, but because the idea is to cut it down as well. But this is the kind of thing we can do to make life easier. And then finally, the third general category of things we can do is to provide support of different kinds. Uh, and that's really what this day is all about, for us to provide a forum uh, where you can hear from people directly who are wanting to be helpful, where we can initiate programs with technology companies, banks, and others, um, so as to make sure that uh, the other reality that I want you to know we understand, which is that in the kinds of businesses many of you have, um, the founder and the president is also the vice president of sales, is also the vice president of technology adoption, is also the vice president of customer service. And so you don't have a department of people like Rogers does today, um, you know, which can deal with these kinds of things. You're doing it. And our job is to make sure whether it comes to developing export markets or doing all these different kinds of things that we can help you. 
And we know that one of the areas today where it's difficult enough for big companies and for smart people to keep up is with the uh, implementation and the adoption uh, and the identification of digital technologies that companies can use to make sure they can stay in the game. And that's why in June we launched a Digital Main Street, um, which is a business support platform inspired by the fact that fewer than half of Canadian small businesses have their own website, something that we would all think, well, every business must have its website because almost every sort of kid in some respects has a website or certainly has other ways of making sure their presence is felt uh, on uh, social media. A digital uh, Main Street is, is the first program of its kind in the world and gives business better access, especially smaller businesses, to online services, to expertise, and to tools. And this is really just, again, a way in which we can provide that support to you, which otherwise might be difficult for you to come by on your own. And I'm very happy today to be here to say that we are taking one more step in this direction uh, in conjunction with Microsoft Canada, which has been an excellent uh, corporate citizen. It has been a, a, an important employer in the GTA, and uh, I hope they will continue to grow here because that's important to us as well. And today, as Janet Kennedy will tell you more about in a moment, we've entered into an exciting new partnership with Microsoft Canada who will work with us to engage small and medium-sized businesses across Toronto to help use their productivity technologies uh, to uh, do what they're supposed to do, which is improve productivity, to help improve operations, drive growth, and reduce costs. And this uh, partnership, um, which we're proud to be a part of, will help small businesses to uh, gain access to a range of Microsoft's uh, cloud-based technologies and training sessions on a favorable basis. And I'm very glad to know that Microsoft not only invests here by creating a presence here and selling their products here and employing people here, uh, but also is now taking this step to invest its expertise um, in helping you uh, to grow because they know that's good for business generally, it's good for your businesses, and of course that in turn is good for their business. And I have no problem with that at all. I want people in this city to make money and to do well. I don't think profit is a dirty word. In fact, it's an absolutely essential word. If companies are not prosperous here, as I often will say, and I don't say it because you don't know this, I want you to know that I know it and Councillor Michael Thompson knows it, a dollar has to be earned before it can be taxed. And hopefully we tax it fairly to provide for the transit and the roads and the parks and the social supports and so on, but it has to be earned first. And so the degree to which we can support you and nurture you and stay out of your way um, and, and forge partnerships with companies like Microsoft, um, I think is going to go a long way to make everybody a winner. It's going to make you a winner. It's going to make your businesses winners. It's going to make us a winner because you do better. It's going to make our kids winners because they can find jobs in your enterprises, which is exciting and important. I thank you for being here, and I thank you for your attention uh, this morning.